Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been since like forever since I've done a how-to video and I'm happy to say that today I'm going to be doing a how to shave your face video, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I do shave my face, I have been shaving my face for quite some time and before I wipe off all this makeup and show you how I shave my face, let's have a little chat first just to go through a couple of things. So. First off, I am South Asian, which means I am naturally just a hairy person in general. I've got a thick hair, and on my face I've always had quite thick hair as well. I've actually done a full video called I Am A Hairy Woman, so I will link it below. <laughs> Feel free to check it out and laugh along with me. Um, hair and stuff on my face doesn't bother me so much anymore. I mean, I'm not sure how much you can see from here because I've got makeup on. I'm obviously at a distance, and you can't necessarily see I've got a full-on tash going on. Um, but anyway, so first off, I have been having hair lasering for quite a few years now. I'm now at that point where I go up for, go for like top up sessions. I literally go maybe once a year now. It's not really necessary for me to go because the hair on my face is so fine now and it grows back so slowly that it's just not necessary. Now, I initially started on this part of my face having hair lasering done and probably the past year I started on my neck area so there's actually more hair still growing on my neck than there is on my face so I have to go for kind of more sessions on the neck area but again I don't bother so much and what I tend to do is I tend to shave my face in between now for those of you that have had hair lasering done in the past you know that when you first go you have to shave your face of all hair and the reason that is is because your hair actually grows in cycles so you actually have to let your hair go through a full cycle which means you're going to have to have a full-on tash a full-on beard everything going on then you shave it once it's got to the longest it will ever grow and then you go and have the hair lasering done just to dispel a couple of myths shaving your face does not make your hair grow back thicker Think about this from a common sense point of view, right? If shaving hair on your body caused your hair to grow back thicker, would we not all be shaving our heads? Would not every single person on this planet have a thick head of hair, right? So it goes hand in hand with that myth. Now, one thing that some people do get a little bit confused about, for example, like when they shave their legs or when they shave their underarms or whatever it is, they're like, oh, but it feels bristly. Now, you have to think about it like this. A normal hair that's been like on your head for quite a while, when you first cut it, the hair is cut blunt. It's straight. But after a while, that's the ends start to get softer and a little bit more pointed, and then it doesn't feel spiky anymore. So that is the same sort of thing about how it is shaving hair on the rest of your body. When you shave your hair on your face, initially, you may feel a few little prickles as it starts to grow back, but eventually those prickles will turn into more softer heads and it will feel soft and smooth. It does not grow back thick at all, all right? So you can trust me on that. I've done it many, many times. Your hair does not grow back thicker. However, if you've not been having hair lasering done, your hair will still grow back as quickly as it would have done, like for example, when you shave your legs. If you're like me and you're South Asian, I get a five o'clock shadow on my legs. What's a five o'clock shadow? It's the thing that men get when they shave their face first thing in the morning before work. By the time it gets to five o'clock, they've got a nice shadow. My hair grows that fast. So the reason that shaving the hair on my face is okay is because I have hair lasering done, I know for a fact that my hair grows a lot more slowly and a lot more fast finely as well therefore I don't have to worry about it coming back so quickly now let me just go through a few things with you I in the past before I got this tool which I'm about to show you I have been known to use my Venus razor on my face don't care you shaving phone shh, 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 does the same job however it has given me razor burn next thing I've used and I've picked this one up here because I can't actually find the one that I used a lot of people I've noticed on YouTube and in general day-to-day -day life tend to use these razors right here. These are, this is called Eyebrow Razor My Beauty Tool. It's from Etude House in South Korea. So it's shaped like a toucan, whatever those birds are, it looks like that. It's got a razor on the head, on the end. This is for eyebrows, but you can use it if you've got peach fuzz. Not on South Asians, let me tell you that. This shredded my face. It cut me. It felt really rough, it felt really harsh, and I would just not even use this on my eyebrows, let alone anywhere else. 
lo and behold I was very very happy when this product came out so this is from the brand called Veet which is a hair removal company that a lot of you will have used in the past used their waxing strips is what I've used on my face bloody hell that hurts um, I use their hair removal cream before I used to shave my face I used to use hair removal cream on my face I've got very 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 sensitive skin waxing and threading does not work well for me on my face it brings me up in little white heads and spots makes me red by the time the redness goes down the hair's already started to grow back so this is the Veet Sensitive Precision Face Kit. It removes peach fuss and exfoliates and it's also for dermaplaning. Now I have used this once in the past, so bear with me. You get this little guy right here and this is actually the razor underneath. I'm gonna remove it because I've already used it in the past. For some reason they say you can only use it once then throw it away. $7.99 to buy two of these, I don't think so. And there's the razor, which is dirty because I'm about to remove it and it comes already with a battery you press the button can you hear it see now even if i rub this over my hand it doesn't actually do anything it doesn't hurt but there is a nice blade on there and then that is what you will press it and then you will run it across your face to remove any hair remove any peach fuzz and to remove dead skin as well so it comes with one and then it comes with another spare one which i'm about to use now and it also comes with two vials of their so-called miraculous oil. Now the whole purpose of the oil is to basically act like a shaving foam. Using oil is actually a lot better than using shaving foam. It's a lot more better for sensitive skin. Their oil actually feels and smells absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So it comes with two of these. And then you can buy the oil, you can buy the razors and everything separately once you've used them up as well. It also comes with a nice little pouch which you can keep it in to keep it clean and safe. Now let me just read what they say on the box. Based on the popular dermaplaning treatment from skincare experts in salons, the Sensitive Precision Face Kit removes fine facial hairs known as peach fuzz and dead skin for instant results. And the reason of what this does is it basically makes your face visibly brighter, smoother and rejuvenated facial skin designed to help improve the absorption of skincare products, helps create a flawless canvas for makeup. Facial hair is different to body hair. It grows back looking and feeling just as it did before. It says for even better results, use their Vita Miraculous Oil, a blend of 100% natural origin oils, rich in vitamins and omega-3 that leaves skin soft and moisturized for 24 hours, suitable for all skin types. Contains two dermaplaning refills to be used once every week. So my hair doesn't grow back quickly enough to use it once every two weeks. But yours might if you haven't been having hair lasering like I have. Always use a new and clean blade for each session. So for somebody like me who tends to use it once every couple of months, I can actually afford to go and use a brand new one. But bear in mind that do not use the same one again and again and again and again. It's not hygienic. Make sure you get a new one. This costs $29.99 is the RRP. I actually got it for $19.99. It was on offer on Boots. And I think it's still on offer on Boots as I filmed this today on the 4th or 5th of April lockdown i don't know what day it is nowadays let me just read a little bit more to you of what they say on boots's website it's designed to be safe and gentle to use at home dermaplaning can sound like an intimidating treatment but don't worry we designed the de device and safeguarded the blade for at home use so you don't need to be a professional to do it. Gently removes peach fuzz to reveal visibly brighter skin and allow your makeup to glide easily onto the skin. Works to improve skin smoothness and texture by exfoliating and removing built up debris and dead skins. It will also allow your skincare product to be better absorbed by the skin. Hair grows back just as soft as it did before. Your hair might feel different once it starts growing back but only because it was cut straight across Hair will keep the same texture and grow at the same speed as it did before. That's exactly what I said to you guys earlier. So the great thing about this is, again, firstly, you will notice, or you may not notice, but I will notice straight away that my skin will look a little bit lighter. Because I've got dark hair and medium toned skin, my skin looks a little bit darker because it's got extra hair on it. As soon as I remove all of that hair, everything will look even. Not just that, when applying foundation, sometimes the hairs on the face can interfere with it instead you will have nice smooth application because there is no dead skin there now because there is no hair there skincare products etc 
oils and whatever and acids will definitely absorb into the skin a lot better. So there are a lot of pros to using a product like this which doubles up as a derma planer as well as a hair remover. So I absolutely love this. I give this a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely excellent. I didn't nick my skin. I didn't cut my skin. It didn't irritate my skin. It works beautifully. Once this oil runs out I can use any other facial oil as I choose because I'll be honest with you this is quite small. I might actually it depends if I run out of using this and what I tend to do is while I am doing this I will also wipe off the blade onto a tissue just so that it doesn't get clogged with lots of oil and hair so that's the only thing that you have to remember and that also again depends on how much hair you already got on your skin now I don't have so much hair on my cheeks I've got more hair like I said on my neck and on the top of my lip so bear with me, I'm just going to run away right now and go and remove all of this makeup, come back looking ghastly natural, and then we will get on with this tutorial. Alright, so I'm back looking basic. All the makeup is off. Oh, my face is a bit dry because all I literally did was wash my face. I double cleansed and I haven't got any moisturiser or anything on so my face is starting to get dry. By the way, you guys were right. I should have known better thinking I had rosacea. It wasn't rosacea, it was eczema. You guys did tell me that it doesn't happen to brown people, really. Did I listen? No. So this is a little bit of eczema now, but it's nearly gone now. Thank God no, I'm using the right... But anyway, so let's get started with this. So first off, I'm going to remove this old razor. And the best way to do it is you're supposed to click it that way, one way, anti-clockwise, and remove and discard. And then you just click back with a new one on top. And then this is like a safety catch to cover the blade. You just need to snap it off really. And then you can just keep that covered. So that's it. Battery comes included, double A battery. And then press it to check. And it should make that noise. All right, I'm gonna now get up close and personal. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I've got the oil with me, which is their oil, which you just snap the packet in half squeeze it onto one side of your face. I prefer to do it one side than the other side. And I've just bought with me my The Ordinary 100% Cold Pressed Virgin Marula Oil in case this is not enough for my face. And then I've also got some Lou Roll here <laughs> just to wipe off the razor every now and then so that it doesn't get clogged with hair and oil. All right, now I've snapped it open because all you need to do is snap it back. I'm gonna squeeze some of it on, what side of my face shall I start on? Let's start on this side of my face. So even though you can't necessarily see all the hair on my face um, on camera, you're going to start to see it collecting. Now what you're supposed to do is you're meant to hold it at a 45 degree angle and start to run it down your face. Now obviously make sure you've got oil or something emollient so that this glides across your skin because at the end of the day it is a razor and you don't want to snag your skin, cut anything. If you've got any spots or anything like that, be very careful try to go around it i've got a spot here but it's almost gone and another one here which is pretty much flat but if you've got like rosacea or any kind of skin ailments open skin burns or anything like that do not run this over it you'll aggravate it and make your condition a lot worse and you may end up actually scarring your face so be careful so i'm going to hold it at a 45 degree angle and start to run it up and down my face and like i said the majority of my hair is on my neck and I also just checked in my little diary because I do have a diary. This is four months worth of growth of hair. So we've already gone through the full growth cycle. So this is the longest it will grow. And now I'm gonna shave it all off and then I'll probably shave it again in another four months. Now, even though they say that you should change this after two weeks, for those people that obviously don't have hair lasering and their hair will grow back at the normal rate, you can continue to use it within those two weeks just to kind of top up those areas that grow back faster than others. For a lot of people, it tends to be in the hormonal areas, which is the chin, the top lip and the neck. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this at full speed just because it's going to get very repetitive. If you've got any comments or questions, um, to ask about how I've done it or anything like that ask me in the uh, info bar below but otherwise sit back and listen quietly in silence I'll put on some music for you guys and I hopefully um, quite a few of you will find this useful
all right so let's stop for now I've done this section of my face as you can see here there's some hair collected here and here and yes my face does look a little bit red but that is because I'm applying a certain amount of pressure as well don't hold it lightly you do need to apply a firm amount of pressure that feels comfortable and then you can hear that noise of the hair being cut now as I've already said I've got minimal hair on my cheek area the majority of it is my top lip and my neck but for now you can see that this has removed everything and it was nice and easy to just glide over it and then by all means lift up your mirror to check a lot more closely to see if you've missed any of those really fine baby hairs so I'm just gonna wipe this off just with the tissue and now I'm going to start on my top lip. Ooh. I also forgot to say that using your tongue like that, like you can see that I'm doing, it pulls the skin taut, meaning that your hair comes off a lot more easily than if your skin was just loose so remember that going like that in those areas helps a lot with that I shall wipe this off now let's start off with this side of the face before I move on to the really hairy part which is my neck move on to the fun bit the more fun bit because I know you lot are probably thinking she ain't got that much hair on her face well I've already explained why but that doesn't mean that it ain't there now let's move on to the triple chin area the neck oh there are a lot of hair there you can see it all congealing with the oil I actually do give you a pretty decent amount considering it's not almost finished and I've pretty much done most of my face and yes, this is a very messy thing. You get oil everywhere. So bear in mind, don't be wearing a nice pretty summer dress like I am when you're doing this. Alright, so I've managed to do most of my neck by giving myself vertigo doing this. Generally, I have like a mirror up there, so doing it with the camera wasn't that easy. But look, here you can see a thick black line of all the hair that has been removed. So just for the purposes of my own eyesight, and because I'm going dizzy doing it, I'm just going to finish off the rest off camera, and then I will be back in a moment. Alright, now that the neck is nice and red, because obviously I've been rubbing on it, let's do the forehead. There's a tiny little bit of oil left in here. Now I don't actually have many hairs on my forehead but again this is not just about hair removal it's also about dermaplaning so for consistency and to make my entire face smooth let's apply it to the forehead as well.
right, so that's enough for the forehead. I'm not sure if you could tell I was getting paranoid. I was getting too close to my eyebrows. I've got a very, very small forehead. So these areas here are quite small. I took off some of my baby hairs by accident. I'm friends with my baby hairs. I'm not one of those people that hates them. So I was just trying to be a bit careful about going around the brows because I get my eyebrows threaded. So there's actually not many hairs around that area there. But as you can see, there's a very dark line there, which does go to show that there are very tiny hairs. And my forehead is actually kind of bumpy. So now because of the dermaplaning, it should all become very, very smooth. All right, now that my face is done, there'll be little bits of hair stuck everywhere, oil in random places. All you need is a warm washcloth, which is slightly damp, just to remove any residue, any extra hairs and that sort of thing. If anything, it will cool your face down as well because my face feels slightly warm, obviously continuously rubbing something over it, and which is why it's a little bit red as well. Now is also the time to give your face one last little inspection. It's very easy to miss hairs, especially when they're so fine. Also, when you are under artificial light like I am, it can be very easy not to see certain hairs. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing, which is what I normally do, is first thing in the morning, when I'm in the bathroom, the sunlight is there to go up close to the mirror, and when the sun bounces off your face, that's when you generally tend to see the really tiny, fine hairs. Then I'll get this out again, and then just run over those areas very slightly, just to remove the bits that I missed. Remember, there is no harm in going in again and touching up areas. I would just not do that right now, because my face is quite red. It's obviously had a razor run over it quite a few times. Now it's time for my skin to rest and rejuvenate itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the Marula oil from um, The Ordinary. I'm just going to drop it all over my face just to moisturise it because it's feeling a little bit dry now that I've just used this wet washcloth, which is just water, obviously not moisturising at all. So just to replenish my skin to help it to feel nice and soft, I'm just going to add this. <laughs> Okay, just move myself back out slightly so now you can see that my skin should look lovely and glowy it feels nice and soft and lovely and now I am all hair free I hope 99% hair free I would say I probably missed one or two bits but you know what it happens anyway so the Veet dermaplaning kit definitely look into buying it it's absolutely excellent it's safe it's better than using bloody dingy razors like i've been using i've got very very sensitive skin so this works perfectly for me as well so so many of you will love this and will benefit from this so so much especially from those days when you just want a little touch up you ain't got time to be faffing around with tweezers and waxing and this Zzz, done like literally done five seconds so I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you've got any comments or questions about how to use this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.